And we are back. And we just finished the latest installment in the Fast and the Furious movies. Fast X rated R. Oh, no. PG-13. Yeah, there wasn't anything. Yeah. They, rated R. No. They, these are PG-13. always going to be PG-13. The butt montages don't count as no. salacious. They're not bare butts. They're just butts. Like, I, w- I would say maybe 80% bare butts. Yeah. All right. Shaking. <laughs> Jiggly. From 2023, with a runtime of two hours and 21 minutes, it felt yeah, it. Yeah, that was a very that indulgent was a very movie. Very long, long movie. So way too long. God. Way too it shouldn't long. have been that long. I actually liked. Uh, so I proudly say that I didn't watch like the first eight films, and then I got swept up into the madness of the ninth one. That's when no, no, you you. It was the eighth film that that you watched. That I watched. You watched the Fate. Get it. Eight. Fate. Oh, God. See it. how yeah, clever yeah. they are? Yes, because F9 we saw, and that was the one after they originally introduced Charlie's Theron. Yes, yes. correct. Um, I'm, so, I'm glad you remember more. So I, I didn't watch the first what? seven films, and then I watched the eighth one and was completely on board with this nonsense. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's called Fast X, not Fast 10. Yeah, no, like a- X, X, like the 10. Roman numeral. Oh, yeah. Do you have the, have you learned Roman numerals in school yet? No. All right, maybe you will this year. X is ten. In X Roman. means ten. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what to think here. I'm just gonna go around the table and get impressions. I'm gonna start with you. What did you think? Uh, not not my favorite movie. Yeah. It was too long. It was very long. There was a lot of jumping around. It was like, hey, we're in Portugal. We're in Brazil. We're in London. We're back in Brazil. We're in- we're, we're in, Ant- in Antarctica. Yeah, we're in Antarctica now. We're in Naples. We're in Naples. I forgot about Naples. Rome. Yeah. Uh, they went all over the place, and it was just, how are you doing this when you're all, that one of the plot points is they get framed, of course. Of course. And now they're basically the most wanted terrorists in the world, and yet somehow they're just traveling Europe and, and yeah. South America and Probably back to America. Yeah, they were in America, too. They were in yeah. Arizona. North Yuma Airport. Yeah. yeah. Went from Arizona to Portugal. Well, so halfway to is Portugal. This, yeah. is, is the Fast and Furious franchise like our Harry Potter? Because I feel like there's a lot of people in this goddamn movie. There are a lot of people who just want an easy paycheck. Yeah. And they're getting it. Brie Larson looked uncomfortable in every scene. Like, she, I, I don't know. Was it just me? Like, she had, like, weird body language to me. I didn't feel she looked uncomfortable. I just felt she was phoning it in. Yeah, yeah. it was like, hey, this is this is a very. Well, I mean, the only one who, well, I mean, not the only one, but the one who obviously commits the most is obviously Toretto, Dom. Oh yeah, well, it's his his franchise, but even he, he's a, I don't even think he really. Yeah. He puts in the a effort. It's no. it's I'm gonna growl everything, yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna say family about fifteen hundred times. I lost count. I lost count of yeah. how many times he said the word family. family. Yeah, family. And how the hell did so they rope Rita Moreno into this? And what happened to her? Uh, um, the The story is some guy from a previous movie. I forget which one. The one where they dragged the big safe behind the cars. I can't believe you remember that. And you don't even watch these movies. I don't. Even, I saw the scene where they dragged the safe behind the car. I remember that. I don't remember which one it was from, but I remember. They pulled a safe out of a wall with between two cars and they were dragging it down a highway. That guy that was trying to get the safe back gets killed. And now his son, played by Jason Momoa, wants revenge. Right. And uh, he's doing his best it, but, Joker. Yeah, audition. but basically pretending to be like Jack Nicholson's Joker or something. It, it was some weird over the top performance. Yeah. And his his thing is, I don't want you. I don't want to kill you, Dom. I want you to make you suffer. suffer. And what, how are you going to make this family man suffer? Kill his family? Seriously, Rita Moreno's head on a stake should have been the first sign right. that this yeah. guy was after him. Right, right, right. But she just apparently, out of everybody and all these super spies, the only one capable of maintaining a low enough profile for a psychopathic world traveling killer is grandma. Is grandma? She's yeah. the only one who's managed to evade him. Or no, great grandma. Or was it grandma? No, it was grandma. I don't, I don't know. Was I honestly have Literally, no idea. who cares? Yeah, literally, <laughs> who cares? Perfect. Perfect answer. That is the correct answer, Jay. Yeah, I couldn't get behind this. It was just, 
it was too much. It was too long. It was. Th- I think that was the problem with me. Yeah, it was. It was too, it was too long, and they, they kept trying jumping to around. Establish stuff. I uh, also going into this, I didn't know that this was going to be a two parter. I had no clue. I thought this was like a one and done, like they usually are. I didn't know and that the, they were going down that In the middle of route. this film, I kind of guessed that they'd leave off on a cliffhanger, so I wasn't surprised. Yeah, yeah, I felt like I was sitting there way too long, and it was like there's no I way still they, didn't there's pick no it up. way I they could wrap this up. I thought they were going to wrap it up in the, like the last fifteen minutes. No, no they couldn't have. There was no way they could have wrapped it because there was all these other plot threads hanging out. Like uh, uh, Michelle Rodriguez is in Antarctica with Cipher. With yeah, it's now they're teamed up with the bad and guy. Another team up with a former the, bad and guy. And another person pops yeah, out. Yeah, another person we pops out in a submarine. Yeah. Who's who? I because well, I don't dead. I don't really follow the movies that closely, but I thought that character was dead. I was pretty sure they killed her because that's why. What's they thought name? she died. Yeah, let's not give it they away. They thought they died. Yes, they. Okay. No. Well, either either way, I think that the, there's too many cast members, and they keep adding new ones. So the film just has to be longer to include them all, even though they don't really serve much of a purpose. Like the sub characters of uh, Ludacris oh. and and the bald guy, Therese, Therese and uh, Khaleesi's oh, assistant. Uh, Khaleesi's assistant. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Something. I'm sorry. I don't know your names. It's we saw her earlier this year in that awful. She was movie. in that awful invitation she movie. Did. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I mean, she could probably pick to be in bad movies considering she's in the Fast and Furious franchise. Which I'm sure yeah. she gets paid. Yeah. But their whole storyline, it was like, why am I watching this? Yeah. I'm guessing they're the comedy relief. They're bumbling their way through random things on a quest to, I guess, introduce us or reintroduce us to Jason Statham's character. There was like... They were adding things in there, like like uh, Han. He ate some sort of LSD muffin. Yeah. And then they just dropped that storyline. Yeah. There's nothing nothing resulted Honestly, from what it. was the point of that? What was the yeah. point of having Pete Davidson there yeah. so he can get smacked? Maybe that's, yeah. That was pretty I good. mean, I would that was satisfying. I'd pay at least a dollar to watch Pete Davidson get smacked. <laughs> Kudos to <laughs> Helen Mirren for check, getting a paycheck for, what, five minutes of work? Maybe less? Yeah. She's definitely She's the bomb uh, diggity. I love her. Helen Mirren's great. I'm sure she'll be in the next one. Of course. Why wouldn't she? But yeah, it was very long, and I think they have to make it long because there are just too many damn characters. And you there keep reintroducing many. people who died, and even the bad guys become good guys. Yeah. And now they're That's introducing so new good guys who become bad guys. And also, I don't know if this is explained anywhere, but why is... Bro, quote unquote Brian still alive in these movies. I don't know, and the fact that he is not involved in any of this, yeah, it's it just seems strange. It's yeah. it's, it's almost like he's like, yeah, I'm tired of this crap. You guys, I guess, or he's taking even care even, of his even though even though his know. wife still pops up every pops once up. in a while. Yeah. yeah, she was in the beginning of the film, but then she disappeared. What right. happened to her? Well, when they were coming, Jake, Uncle Jake, took the boy, little boy. Right. But what happened then, to her? I guess she was going to be with Brian because she has children with Brian. Maybe she went. She went to wherever Grandma went. Maybe because Grandma's They're deep undercover. Yeah, Grandma's yeah. got a good eye. They spot. left. They're gone. So, yeah, my, I, I didn't particularly care for this. I'm, I'm going to give this a five. I mean, oh. I feel like if you're a, a Fast and Furious acolyte, you you probably get derived some enjoyment from this. If you're a 13 year old boy, I'm sure you'll derive some enjoyment. Yeah, from I this mean, film. I think they hit all the usual notes with crazy stunts, car chases, frenetic car butt montages, yeah, uh, explosions, explosions. Yeah, like there was that auto race, the the, the street race. It had no purpose. No. It was just sort of in there in the middle. That that. That actually really confused me. Yeah. Because it was suddenly he was in Brazil. No explanation of really how he got there. He's in Brazil, wanted Didn't terrorist. He get Clint East, I mean, Clint Eastwood, Scott Eastwood to tell him that they were over there. Then he's like, oh, I guess we're going, we're going to Brazil. But then he never shows up again. Scott yeah, Eastwood. Yeah, Scott Eastwood just disappears. Yeah. And then suddenly they introduce two other racers. And one of them, guess, uh, becomes is part of the family. <laughs> is technically family. family, I guess. Yeah, it's just, it's all right. Wild. 
now we have another character. We have to find out what her origin is. Yeah. Olive G, what did you think of this film? I have no words. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. It's a good way. Did you out. did you dislike it or did you like it? I I I don't know. <laughs> This well, was you slept so, through most of it. I mean, not, you slept through some of it. It was so confusing. I, I could agree, I agree there. With that. Yeah. yeah. If That's you are not, assessment. if you sleep through a chunk of this, you're just like, what? Where are, where are they? What is going on? What's going on? What is this giant ball going through the street? What? That's, like, I felt like that sequence went on way too long. That went oh on way God, too long. Oh my God, it went on obscenely long. Yeah, yeah. That went on way too long. And, and another thing, it's like, okay, they work. For something called the agency, mm-hmm. which is basically like the CIA or, or a secret box, government yeah. organization with a lot of soldiers in it. And now they're being hunted by the agency because they've been framed for being traitors. Shouldn't they, even though they're being hunted, not actively try and kill the soldiers and agents? Sure. I mean, that are going after. That's what a heroes child would do. Commits murder in this film. <laughs> I forgot about that. That kid was, that was slaughtering my people. Scene. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> he smiles. He pulls the lever and he smiles. He's like, load it up again, Uncle John Jake, Cena. Jake, yeah. Jake, Jake, not John Cena. <laughs> I, oh. I mean. I mean, There's no thought about is, that. The l- no, little kid just murdered actively committing so murder. many people. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is like the antithesis of <laughs> the antithesis. They had like, families. Uh, they even made they even made a point of saying like henchmen have families. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the poor guys. But so this is like the opposite of Adam Sandler getting his buddies together to make a film, I feel like. Because at least you, you get some laughs out of that. This, I, I don't know. It was just, it was too much. It was too long. Yeah. But I don't the, know. I think they need to, they need to whittle down the cast. Are they yeah. serious? I know you want to keep everybody. It's too much. It's too much. You have yeah. to, you, when you kill people, it really needs to stick. Yeah. Yeah. And There's the fact that. that I think since this franchise began, everybody that, that gets killed or whatever either comes back or has some sort of part to play in a future yeah. installment. Yeah. I, I, this, the guy in the last movie in question, how the hell are we still alive? Yeah. yeah. They yeah. even asked, like, we should be dead a thousand times over. We yeah. defy gravity, we defy yeah. physics. Okay, but just die. Just <laughs> just stay dead, please. Bro survived a landmine. How? And and I guess little B is following in dad's footsteps because now he's flying through cars. Yes, that sequence was sick. <laughs> ridiculous and overly long and just yes. so nuts. Jason Momo is not my favorite bad guy. No, he I mean he was hamming that part it was just up. Too he much. was hamming it up yeah. so much. It's like he was auditioning for Joker. Yeah. It felt like. It felt like he was trying to be the Joker. Yeah. Either Cesar Romero or Jack Nicholson type Joker. Not yeah. even not even like unhinged Heath Ledger type Joker, but yeah. just the campy, hammy Joker. No, no not good. Yeah, not good. I'm gonna give this a five. I, I I'm I'm giving it a five because it's provided jobs for people, <laughs> and I get to see like Helen Mirren for a hot minute and Ratcatcher. What's her name? I think what's her face? Deanna Melchior, or yeah. something like that. Melchior, I think. Melchor. Yeah, and John Cena, who I like. Who mm-hmm. I don't know. I just felt like out Al- like Brie Larson was just I don't know phoning it in. Is she, uh, it was they she uh, that could have been anybody. Yeah, I, I think it was just hey, you, you want a part? You got some money. Yeah, and she was like, all right, sure. How many days do I have to show up? Like a day. Four. You, tops. you get to wear four fancy outfits. You get to shoot a gun, and then you're out. Sign me up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then like Jason Statham's in it for like what five minutes as well. There's yeah. like this excellent fight sequence in there. Like that was good. 
Scott Eastwood was in it for what two minutes, maybe. Maybe, yeah. It's like it's it's basically just the contest to see how many of the former people could, we could shove into this movie. And then the end credits, there is a sequel. And then you get another one. Yeah. yeah. What was that the one? End credits. Uh, we'll tell you about it later. We'll tell you about it later. We don't want to spoil it for I people who haven't seen it. it this, yes, you can let her know after. But uh, so wait, let, you, let, wait, you wait, didn't let, really care for it, right, Olivia? I. You can be honest. I kind of enjoyed it, but I was so confused you at are. the same time. Did you have a favorite character? Uh, Little B. Um. <laughs> little B. <laughs> well, did you like Little B murdering all those people? <laughs> he murdered so many people. Actually, the Letty Cipher fight wasn't bad. That wasn't bad, but then you had that like weird Star Wars robot <laughs> shooting lasers. Uh, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> so what the I, hell's I going liked. On? I liked. Um, so, somehow, a maximum security prison has the best medical equipment money could buy. Hmm. Ramsey's the girl, the the girl with the computer that was with Roman and I like the little B, little B, little B. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gee, what did you think of this film? Oh my god, it was too long. And dear Lord, oh my god, the, don't watch this movie. Yeah, that's probably that's probably the right. This was so long and just weird and honestly kind of boring. I found zero enjoyment watching this film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see that. I could see. That. Well, I'm thinking about this dumb movie, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Uncle John Cena and the little <laughs> Uncle boy, Jake. <laughs> Uncle Jake and little B and little B somehow ended up in Portugal, right? Yeah, on that little Cessna. Yeah, they flew. With they, three they they small they bottles they es- of vodka. They escaped a a, a normal plane. A, yeah, that was another thing. For some reason, this normal plane had bomb doors. Somehow, they they fly out the bottom of the plane. They escape. They end up in Portugal. The thing with the safe that they show that happened in Brazil, right? Yeah. Yet later on, after chasing Uncle John Cena and, and the boy. They're in Brazil. Suddenly they're in Brazil on that bridge. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you killed my dad on this, on this very bridge. Hmm. Did they not realize that they, that there's like an ocean in between <laughs> <laughs> Brazil and Portugal? No. Maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm messing things up, but no, I but, think you've caught a glitch in the matrix. Yeah, they teleported. Yep, they Time can, has they no can magically in the teleport. Of the yeah. And the Furious. yeah, I mean, honestly, teleportation would be the least unbelievable thing happening in these movies. Yeah, agreed. All right, and I—I uh, I don't know what to think. It, it just yeah, wasn't let, good. Yeah, let's just wrap it up. I—I yeah. I would, I too would give it a five. I, I need to take Gee. an aspirin. My head's killing me. <laughs> Gee, one to one to ten. Uh, four. Four. All of G. One to ten. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a six and a half. Six and a half. All right. All six right. and a half. Four, five, five. If you are so inclined, go check yeah, out Fast you're a completionist. X. But uh, just remember that there's a second part to this that's coming out. God <laughs> knows when. Bro, right yeah. or die. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if this is impacted by the writer's strike. Probably, although I... Don't imagine much writing occurs. <laughs> you don't think somebody with like an English lit degree is writing these things? Yeah. <laughs> Amazingly enough, according to IMDb, the estimated budget on this is three hundred and forty million dollars. I'm not going to get into the opening weekend and the gross, but the gross worldwide of this film is. What do you think? Give me a number. A billion dollars. I don't know. No, it's not a billion, but it's close. Eight hundred million. Seven hundred and four million seven hundred and nine thousand six hundred sixty. So wow. it more than doubled its budget. So I guess that's a success. So I guess we'll see Dom and the family soon. I don't know if they're going to, because it seemed like at the end Dante thought he was done with Toretto, and now he's I going guess. after someone else. I don't know. I mean, yeah, who knows? It it ends on, on a cliffhanger, let's just say. Yeah. 
I mean, hopefully that movie is more interesting than this one. This one was, eh. Yeah. Do you think we have to go back and watch one through seven? I don't know. This was a we chore. We do not need to watch any of these movies. I'm curious, like, about the first couple of ones. You know what? If you set it up, I, I'll watch it with you, but I... It's it's not something I would rush out to do. I'm well, sure there's, there's it's going to be in the comfort of our living room. What are you talking about rushing? Even out? even that. Really? Yeah. Uh, I if you set it up, I'll watch it. But I'm sure there's other stuff I'd rather watch instead. That's true. That's true. There's a wealth of entertainment out there. So we're gonna pair this with Spy, which was an excellent film. I guess. Yeah. Action is our theme. Mm-hmm. But uh, of the two, my recommendation would absolutely be Spy. Oh, my God. Yeah. A thousand times, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was, this was disappointing. And I mean, and I, and I love silly, mindless, boom, boom nonsense. But this just. This was too much. And there, were too, there much. were too many bits in, the, in between all the action set pieces. Yeah. And too much. Is it too talking. much exposition? I think you have to have some kind of exposition because there's just so many goddamn characters. So the I agree with G. The scene, the whole sequence with Pete Davidson made no sense. Could they did, they didn't need, didn't, didn't need, need that it, at all. Need to be there. Pete Davidson could have been replaced with a video camera. Right. Oh, they saw them on a video camera. Right. Done. Uh, the whole sequence with the bomb too long. Right. Way too long. Way too yeah. long. Helen Mirren didn't really need to be there, did she? No, it was just, oh, I just happened to be vacationing in Rome. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's convenient. And you just happen to find the one guy that the entire international community is looking, looking for. Looking for, of course. Uh, who's Scott, not even trying to hide. He's right. just standing up on like a, a public tourist area. Scott Eastwood didn't need to be there either. No. Brie Larson. I mean, I guess she served a purpose, but that could have been anybody. Yeah. The whole Jason Statham, even though that was a good fight sequence, probably not needed either. What could have made this movie better? Trimming an hour off of it? Yeah. Yeah. This this had no business being longer than an hour and and a half. It's it's just a symptom of the entire franchise. You got to kill people and keep them dead. Yeah. I know you want to bring them back, but you you just kill them. Take a stand, kill characters. So what if they had done this? What if, okay, so you have the beginning set up, which makes sense, right? Because you're telling the people why we're here in this day because of what happened 10 years ago. So instead of doing all of that, introduce the introduction, how you did it, and then move to Dante maybe surveilling Toretto's home and making I, a I, play I, for the boy. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Oh, I, don't, okay. I don't even want to talk about making this film better. <laughs> Okay. But right. I am done. I am. We could just wrap this up now. I am. I Don't am, watch. I am Fast tired. X. My so head is pounding from watching this movie. <laughs> I have such a headache. It just went on too goddamn long. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're okay. really I, I, this. The more I think about this movie, the more I feel like I am being put through suffering <laughs> by Dante <laughs> and the entire Fast and Furious <laughs> family. All right, we're going to wrap it up. And that is it from us, and we will bid you all a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.